<laughs> what was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> Looks like a fine pewter tankard. <laughs> Where are all the pirates? <laughs> well, they're all up looting the governor's mansion. The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and caught her. <laughs> they put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. <laughs> What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> What can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Why should I do that? Why, for love, my boy. Don't deny it. It's written all over your face. Love. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> Looks like a fine pewter tanker. <laughs> Looks like a fine pewter tankard. This stuff is eating right through the mug. I think I have enough already. <laughs> I don't want to put that in. Ooh. <laughs> 
May I help you? I'm here to loot the governor's mansion. And do you have reservations, sir? Why, yes, I do have reservations. And what name would they be under? It's probably under S, for Shine Top. Nice try. But, we're booked solid for the next five hours. But I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine. Super. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Err... Uh, well, yes, we knew about that. Why are you just standing around instead of doing something about it? Uh. Well... The governor could probably take care of herself. And we are sort of busy here. Yeah... And we've got the circus to think of. We've got to find the elephant. Find the rat. Yeah! And get rid of these minutes! I'm sorry, we simply can't go at this time. I'll just be running along now. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? 
me see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, let's talk about money. Your money. All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. I have 371 pieces of eight. I think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite some time. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now I can see you're a no-frills kind of guy. But I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north, where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough, and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. How much would you like to spend? I have 371 pieces of eight. I'm glad this ship doesn't have ears, my friend. Because if she did, she'd slap your face. I don't think you've got the cash for this transaction either. You do have some other means of payment, don't you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. 
they set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? I have 371 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship. But not that reasonable. I don't think you've got the cash for this transaction either. You do have some other means of payment, don't you? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? Um, uh, how much do you want for yours? I told you, it's not for sale. Jeez, you're annoying. But hey, so am I, right? What else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. 
What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos, or a peg leg, or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. There's nothing in here but this note. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it! I knew it! Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course! Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? 
Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 9,550 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm gonna be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know? You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. I think we're working in the wrong direction here. I know you can try harder than that. Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees this ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? 